There really are not a lot of things in FromSoft games that will make you look for a solution online, except maybe the NPC quests, but those are about as fleshed out as the new Saints Row. So when it does happen, it's a very special feeling of confusion. And I can almost guarantee you how to do exactly that for this dungeon, because it requires use of a feature you have never had to use before, or after even. Oh, and it was also never explained. The Gelmir Hero's Grave is a beautiful stone structure lost in the mountainside of Mount Gelmir. It's all downhill from here though, literally, because as you walk into the dungeon itself, you will notice a very steep downward slope with lava on the side. And just a few steps further, one of my favorite enemies spawned in, a chariot. I guess I forgot I was in a horror's grave for a second. On top of that, there were two skeletons running at me while I had to go and hide before the chariot takes me back to Dark Souls 2. Please, don't take me back to Dark Souls 2. My first attempt was met with a hindrance. I cannot make this shit out, dude. And the attempts after ended in me being bullied in a corner, just like in high school. I made that joke last video, didn't I? It wasn't funny the first time, you piece of shit. But when I made it down further, I was met with a choice. Do I jump down into the dark, or do I continue down the slope? I jumped down and ended up Hello in front of Miyazaki's Revenge for all of the trash I talked about the other dungeons. So jumping down was a no-no. Down the slope we go. Going here already looked more promising, as I was met with a big open room filled with a few common enemies and some crossbow-wielding friends. God, those are so fun. Definitely not trash. This scene here made me very happy, so I'm gonna share it in context. I then explored some more and ended up on a different slope with a way up and a way down. Naturally, I went up first thinking it would be a dead end and it was. But the chariot had a different plan and basically trapped me up here. Honestly, I thought I was done. But I somehow managed to jump over the chariot. I had no idea that was possible. But then I died anyways. Making my way down yet again, I tried jumping down one more time and well, yeah. When I finally made it back, I jumped down once more and noticed a window on the wooden beams I landed on. How have I not seen this yet? The window led me to a side room with a Bloodhound Knight guarding a game-changing item you should really use if you got it. If there's one thing Limgrave has taught me aside from the fact that my PC really doesn't like rain, it's that I really don't like Bloodhound Knights. I was told many times I complained too much, so instead I tried cheesing him to flex my superior brain. It worked out really well for me, but hey, this one was weak at least. I got two full armor sets that I'm never going to wear. But going the other way took me to a ledge with nothing. No other way to go? Weird. I guess I'll take the ladder again. Some time passed and I realized that there seems to be something else at the bottom of the lava slope. I made a run for it, but even with the weirdest, most insane, crazy NG plus change you did not know about, which in case you actually don't know is the fact that an NG plus for some reason bombs, lava and rot no longer slow you down, I couldn't make it. With quick step or bloodhound step, I'm sure I would not have been able to do it either given the recent nerfs. So, how do I get down now? The chariot is faster than me. Is Sonic gonna tell me that I'm too slow or is there maybe a way to break the chariot? Well, no, not in this dungeon at least. The solution is a little simpler. There's a, there's a reason you can fall down on the ledge from earlier and go back up the ladder to get to the wooden beams. It all made sense to me when I found out that you can fall onto the chariot and ride it. How is anyone supposed to know that? By doing that, I can easily make my way down to the end of the slope and jump off to the boss door. Wow, just wow, seriously. You know, it's a very cool idea and I like creativity, but this is literally the only time in the game where it's applicable and needed, but feels like kind of a wasted potential, which is sad. The boss, well, it's just a red wolf of Radagon copy-pasted, so if you know how to fight him, which I did, then it should be easy. Bow and arrow did well for me. Jokes aside though, the easiest way to fight him is to roll the first swing on his combos and then jump the second. By doing that, you can jump attack over the second swing, which will always give you enough time to dodge a follow-up attack. It's 100% foolproof. Trust me, I do it so it really is foolproof. And with that, I got ashes. Bloodhound ashes at least, but really not that exciting if you ask me. So overall, dungeon was a pain, not worth 0 out of 10.